Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to cover part two of the how to make a horizontal menu bar in Dreamweaver. So we're going to be using div tags, HTML, and CSS. So let's look where we left off. This is where we left off. This is the div tag that we made, which again is just a container, and the unordered list that is within it. So if we go to design view, you're going to see our container spans the entire page. We have a bullet list right here, and today we're going to learn how to manipulate that. So let's go to code view. In order to manipulate a div tag, you need to first manipulate the div tag and then manipulate every single thing that's within the div tag, so everything that opens. So first we'll manipulate the first bracket that opens, that's a div, then we'll manipulate this ul, then we'll manipulate the li, and then the last thing that opens is this a. So in order to do the first thing that I said, do the first one, is you would manipulate this one that says toolbar. So go to your CSS and type in pound toolbar. And that is how you manipulate the settings for the entire div tag. So let's do an open and close parentheses and do a double enter and then click in between. So what we want our div tag to be, the only thing we can really manipulate about our div tag is we can make it a certain amount of pixels wide. So let's do that. Let's type in width, colon, and let's make it 900 pixels, semicolon. So let's see what we just did. Save that. Go to design view, and as you can see, our div tag doesn't span the entire page now. Now it is only 900 pixels. So we're well on our way to making this exactly how we want it to be. So the next thing that we are going to manipulate, as I said, was that UL, the next thing in the container. So go back to your CSS, give me a double enter, and type in that pound sign again, toolbar, type in UL, give me an open and close brackets, go in between them, give me a double enter, and then go in between. So now we are going to manipulate that UL. And the thing that we want to do with that UL is we want to center line everything in it and we want to take the um, list style out and do the text alignment. So just follow along with me and I'll show you exactly what to type. So type in margin colon zero px semicolon padding colon zero px semicolon list dash style colon none and then type in text dash align colon center. So what we basically did here was we made our padding non-existent. So we're going to be right up against that div tag. And we also made our list style. So those bullets, we got rid of them. Don't believe me? Go to your index.html, go to design view, and now you can see we have no um, we have no space between the div tag and our text, and we are in the center of the page, and our bullets are gone. So the next thing we're going to manipulate is the li tag. So I'm sure you probably already know what I'm going to do next. But let's do a double enter, and we'll type in number sign, toolbar, ul, li. Open a bracket, close a bracket, go between the brackets, double enter, then go in between. Same thing over and over again, guys. So here we are going to do, uh, just follow along with me and I'll explain it after. So type in padding, colon, zero, uh, let's do 50 px, zero, eh, let's do 45, I'm sorry about that. So go zero, 45 px, zero, 45 px. And then do a semicolon. And then also type in display, colon inline so what we just did here was by doing display inline we took it from a vertical toolbar to a horizontal toolbar and then with the padding we basically said how much space we want in between each thing so go to your HTML go to design and you're going to see exactly what I just described we made it inline and we put a certain amount of pixels in between each one those 45 pixels that's what we did so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to manipulate the next piece that opens so we did div we did UL, we did LI, now we're going to do AHREF, which is our link. So now we're going to make our links look cool. No more of this boring link look. So go back here, give me a double enter, and I already know you know what to type, but let's do pound sign, toolbar, UL, LI, A. Open it, close it, go between it, double enter it, and then go between it again. So in our A, follow along with me, and then I'll explain. Type in text, dash, Decoration, colon, none, semicolon. Type in font, dash, family, colon. Click the font family that you want. I'm going to do Arial, semicolon. Then do font, dash, size, colon, 19px. That's how big I want mine to be. Type in font, 
that uh no no uh yeah yeah let's do the uh font weight so do a dash and then do weight colon and let's make ours bold if you didn't want a font weight if you just wanted it to be regular then you just wouldn't type anything in there and let's do color as our last one and do a colon and then double click color here and pick whichever color you want so you can do black or if you already know the hex code for your color you would just put that in there and type in semicolon so what we did here was we took the text decoration out so that was basically that um, underline that was underneath each one of ours then with the font family we made it Arial instead of Times New Roman we changed the font size of the link we made them bold and we made them a black color again don't believe me go to your HTML Go to code view, go to design view. Why don't we see anything here? What did we do wrong? What's going on here? What is going on? Bear with me for a second. I don't know why this didn't save right. Tool. Oh, I see. Right here, I put a space between my toolbar here. Very vital mistake. So uh, save that again, and let's go back. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, I'm right back with you, and everything is fine. Make sure you do not put spaces after those uh, little pound signs. It'll ruin everything. And maybe you were able to catch on. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a hover effect so that when people hover over these, they're going to change color. So go back to your CSS, hover over all this, copy it, Give me a double letter, and then give me a paste. So after your A, give me a colon, and type in hover. So now we are going to make the hover effects. So you can change your hover effects completely. You can make it when you hover over it, make it a Times New Roman font. You can make it unbold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a different color. So click after everything, and delete everything until you delete all the way up to that R, and then make a new colon, double click color, and pick the color that you want. So I'm just going to make mine a really ugly red and do a semicolon. So we are all done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to our HTML and let's preview this. And now we have a horizontal menu bar that changes color when you hover over it. So uh, this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. And thank you so much for staying tuned for this two-part series. And I hope this tutorial was useful.